Alright guys, I'm just doing this video to let you know about an horror film festival that's in my city. Um, it's called Celluloid Screams um, and it starts on Friday the 22nd of October and right through to the 24th. Um, at 8pm it starts off with um, the film We Are What We Are from 2010. It's a Mexican cannibal film directed by George Michel Grau. Um, the synopsis of it is when a man dies unexpectedly, his family of cannibals are left impoverished, struggling to cope with the loss. Their eldest son Alfredo must take over the role of provider and put food on the table. It's described as the Mexican let the right one in and it says on the brochure it says um, we are what we are is a must see. Um, I've seen the trailer to it and it looks pretty good, it looks very well made. And then just after that there's a short film called When Will It Be Silent, don't know much about that. And then at 10.30 it's the world premiere of Subconscious and this I'm really looking forward to because the director Christos Petropoulos, um, Chris as I know him, um, I've been speaking to him on YouTube the last week or so and we've corresponded and I've got to know him pretty well, well, well uh, to say we've only spoke for a week and um, I, I told him that I was supposed to be going to this Celluloid Screams Festival and uh, but I wasn't going to go because my friends couldn't go at short notice and um, he said oh you don't need any friends to come down you come down chill out with us um, also the, the um, actress in the film Daniela Radovanovic I hope I've got that right um, she will also be there and he said yeah come down um, we'll meet up, we'll watch a film together, you can tell me your thoughts and we'll go and have a beer after and chill out and you can tell me your ideas and stuff like that and it, that just shows what a top guy he is honestly it's going to be one of the busiest weekends of his entire life it could be it could be groundbreaking for him and he's still got time to say to me who's, who we don't even really know come down come and chill out with us that just says what a top top guy he is um, I'll tell you the synopsis of his film having lost his family in a car accident Fannis is tormented by the same dream every night in which he wanders through a dark forest as he searches for answers Fannis begins to suspect that some of the people he meets are not who they say they are right I've seen the trailer to this and I think it's bloody good to be honest I can't wait to see the full film and the trailer is on his own YouTube channel um, subconscious I think it's subconscious horror um, so definitely please I'm asking you all just check that trailer out and give him some feedback on it um, he's trying to get a DVD um, release where this is hoping that a company will take it on and this world premiere will start some big things off for him. I think he's very talented. Even just seeing the trailer, you can tell that um, he knows what he's doing. And I hope I get a good insight into um, and a few tips on how to make movies because I'm planning to um, make one of my own soon. So yeah, he's a great guy. I can't say um, I can't say um, not not many put it this way I just can't say enough about him he's a great guy and just please check his channel out Give watch the trailer give him some feedback on it ask him how you can help spread the word because I'm not too sure I'm sure he'll know and just help him just help him get this to the masses because I think it'll be good for him and it'll be good for the film and it'll be good for the fans and that's that's what everybody wants really and we all know these independent filmmakers when when they're good, they need support him because they they don't people don't give him enough chances these days. And Chris is a top top guy and he deserves it. So please give him your support and I hope you all check his channel out and let him know that I sent you his way. And yeah, I I hope you all enjoy his trailer. The score is really spooky. Just everything about it is really creepy. So yeah. So check that out, don't forget lads, thank you and girls, I'm sorry. And then, 
on Saturday the 23rd at 11am uh, is the 40th anniversary of the bird with the crystal plumage um, obviously directed by Dario Argento um, the synopsis is Dario Argento's debut tale of murder and mysteries back on the big screen in which a writer is stoked after witnessing the attempt murder of a woman so yeah we're gonna see um, the bird with the crystal plumage on the big screen I can't wait for that and then after that there's the short film AM um, 1200 and then at 1.40pm there's the Belgian horror flick Vampires from 2009 um, directed by Vincent Lanou and the synopsis is a documentary film crew is invited into the world of Belgium's vampire community to record their day to day lives, customs and traditions after that there's the short off season and then this is the big one um, of the Saturdays um, showings it's um, at 6.30 p.m. and it's the 30th anniversary showing of Lucio Fulci's City of the Living Dead um, it's also going to be a, there's going to be a special guest appearance by the actress Catronia McCall or McCall um, who will be doing a meet and greet and signing session after the film um, so that's going to be very good I'm really looking forward to that one I think it's the first time it's been on the big screen for 30 years so that's a big one and the synopsis is when a priest commits suicide in, a, in the small town of Dunwich the gates of hell are, are opened unleashing a plague of the dead rising from the grave so I'm really excited about that one and then this is another one that just this Saturday is amazing the, the films that are going to be shown on this Saturday um, at 9.30pm there's the French film The Pack and now I've been waiting for this like I was waiting for La Horde and, and every time you hear a French film um, in production you wait anxiously for it and this is one of these that I've been waiting anxiously to see so um, it hasn't been shown many places um, and it's directed by Frank Richard and the synopsis is while driving in the middle of nowhere, Charlotte ends up at the mercy of maniacal bartender Lesbach, a fiercely maternal psychopath who needs to provide for her kids. A pack of bloodlusting ghouls. So I'm really looking forward to that one. And then just after that, there's the short films Seance and Sinkhole. So hopefully they're pretty good. And then at 11:50 p.m., there's the big screen showing of I Spit on Your Grave which everyone knows um, is the notorious rape revenge video nasty also known as day of the woman and it's just come out in the UK not long ago with um, a different cut to the um, other one released and it shows more so I think that will be this cut um, so I can't wait to see that um, well I think it, I think it's the um, original it didn't actually say it just said I spit on your grave so I don't even know if it's going to be the remake, I, I, I have no idea, um, it's only just been added to the list so there's not much on it so I'm presuming that it's the old one but if it's the new one I'll, I'll be happy either way because I haven't seen that one so that'll be great. Um, well, let's get cracking because this video is going to take quite long. Um, on Sunday the 24th at 11am it's The Omen, um, Richard Donner's 1976 classic. Um, everyone's favourite demonic child back on the big screen where he belongs that's what it says on the um, brochure and then at 1.20pm it's the Robert Morgan respective retrospective sorry and it's Robert Morgan's live Q&A and Robert Morgan's extraordinary films have screened at an array, an array of international film festivals picking up a load of awards along the way so that'll be good um, there'll be a lot of questions um, asked there I'm sure and then at 3.30 p.m. Um, there's the showing of Critters the 1986 um, classic sci-fi horror um, directed by Stephen Herrick um, and the synopsis is a family of a family in rural, rural America is terrorized by a race of vicious extraterrestrials known as the Krites who are being closely pursued by across the galaxy by a pair of ruthless bounty hunters in this 80s sci-fi horror classic so that'll be good seeing that on the big screen and then after that there's the shorts Battenberg and Game Night and then 
at 6.10pm it's the Hong Kong slasher opus Dream Home made in 2010 directed by Ho Cheng Pang and the synopsis is as she draws even closer to securing her dream home Sheng is determined to make sure the deal is completed even if it means killing to do so and then after that um, there's a short film called Short Lease and then at 8.30pm there's a film called The Revenant from 2009 directed by Kerry Pryor um, and the synopsis is when officer Bart Gregory is killed in action in the Middle East his body is transported back to the US and laid to rest before the lid can be put on his tomb however Bart rises from the grave as a fully articulate but very much dead creature with a hunger for human blood a revenant and then the short films Chemical 12D and Alice Jacobs is Dead and there's also going to be um, a secret film shown at the festival but it's not going to be announced till you get there on the first day so that's going to be exciting I wonder if that's going to be a big one it, it, it's, it's got to be pretty big for them to keep it quiet and surprise you because if they just said a film that you never heard of it wouldn't be much of a surprise would it and the full festival passes a £50, that's for every film and every event over the three days you can go to absolutely anything and that's what I've got, um, it come through the post yesterday and the single film tickets are £7.50 each so that's not bad and it's at the showroom, um, that's in Sheffield City Centre right, next to the, right across the road from the train station so it's pretty easy to find, um, if any of you are going um, let me know and you'll probably see me there and say hi and yeah remember um, check um, sub subconscious um, trailer on subconscious horror um, YouTube channel it's it's brilliant and I think you'll all enjoy it so thanks guys and if you're going I hope to see you there